Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with Rocket Fruit become pro. But before we start, be sure you support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hey, hey, hey. So, as promised, guys, here you go the Rocket Fruit. A quick question, Gamer Nom. Is this fruit new? Guys, I think this is the rework, revamped Kilo Fruit. So, guys, this will only cost you 5,000 bellies to buy. So, let's check this one out. So, for the first skill, we have the Missile Fist. Oh, and one more thing. I've already used all the free codes and it gave me like uh, 5 hours and 38 minutes. So, we will try to reach 2nd C with just that given time. Okay? So guys, we're gonna stay here until we reach level 15. Yes, we're gonna take advantage of this 2 times experience and the pirates. As you can see, it's kinda laggy. The effects are delayed, but it's fine, guys. Stat check at level 15, 5 melee defense, blocks worth 35. So next island is the jungle. So here, we're gonna go straight with the gorillas. Yes, we're gonna skip the monkeys. They're hard to lure, guys. <laughs> so guys, you can use the high ground here so they won't be damaging you there you go see that very easy and with just one quest we will reach level 23 now we can start defeating the gorilla king so guys this is not uh i don't know if this one's better compared to the gorillas but there you go guys easy another high ground strat there you go so keep on defeating this boss until you reach level 30 okay but in our case we will reach level 32 for the stats melee 20 defense 20 and blocks fruits 56 next up guys the pirate village so here oh it's been a long time since we've grind here okay first up the pirates okay so there you go guys in this area we're gonna unlock our x skill the airstrike see that guys airstrike so let's try it mastery 20 there you go okay one more time there you go so guys if you're gonna ask me which one is better the kilo or this one guys it's obviously this one okay level 40 we're gonna start with the brutes same strategy guys, this is kind of far to be honest, so if you want you can stay with the pirates, but the level is lower. Okay, so next up, level 55, target is Bobby the Clown. So guys, uh, in order to defeat this one, you need to dodge from time to time. So after every skill, there you go, dodge, and repeat, okay? Very easy, again, skills, okay, wait for him to attack, dodge, and that's it, okay, repeat. Actually, that's just one kill because we've reached level 61 for the stats, 25 melee defense, box fruits 133. Next island is the desert. Guys, uh, boost check, 4 hours, 48 minutes, so almost 1 hour, we've reached level 60. Now moving on to the desert bandits. Okay, guys, I know though you won't agree with this, but I prefer the Z and X skill compared to the Z skill of the mammoth fruit <laughs> because there is less knockback. Okay, let's be clear. Just for grinding, okay? Just for grinding. Okay, so at level 75, guys, you can now start with the desert officers. There you go. They're kind of far away. I hate this kind of uh, grinding areas, but yeah, they're for the challenge. So guys, same uh, strategy. You won't be needing to lure them again because there is not much knockback. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna reach level 90 here. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the stats. There you go, melee defense 40, block fruits 190. Next up, the frozen village. As a reminder, there's a cave here where you can buy the aura, the sky jump, and this flash step. <laughs> I almost said this flash step. <laughs> Anyways, flash step costs 100,000 bells, so we won't be able to buy that. So we're gonna go straight with the snow bandits. There you go, same strategy, guys. Also, we will be unlocking our C skill here, the rocket crash. Uh, Gamer Nom, is that the skill that we saw in the introduction of this video? Yes, that is the skill. Here it is. There you go. Rocket Crush. Anyways, our goal here is to reach level 105. And finally, we were able to buy the Flash Step at this level. Check it out, guys. We had a friend here. He's asking how to get the Haki. Okay, so we're gonna show him as well as buy the Flash Step. So, there you go. Good thing that uh, he's not aggressive towards us. Like... We want to attack us, etc. There you go. We're gonna buy the flash step and continue grinding, okay? Guys, another tip. Once you reach Yeti, just do server hop. Also, make sure to target bosses. Why? Because when you're fighting bosses, you don't need to lure them, right? One more thing, you only need to defeat one mob. Plus, you can conserve your boost when you're 
looking for servers okay i hope that's clear guys yeah the only uh, side effect of this one or downside is that some bosses are hard to kill like high hp so you will take more time compared to a normal quest but sometimes if there are other players who's defeating the bosses like other players who's doing server hop and that will make things a lot faster just a tip guys do not attack them just help them finish the quest okay so here are the stats 60 melee 60 defense blocks first 279 at 130 we can now head to the next island the marine fortress so far we still have four hours of boost again guys that's my main technique so for now at the marine fortress head to the right side pillar facing the fortress and there is an npc here there you go Arlus. you can buy the black cape here for 50,000 bells this will increase your damage later we will change this one so target here is vice admiral right so guys you're gonna grind here until level 225 okay guys 225 why again you need to make things fast guys technique technique here make sure to spawn as a marine why marine gamer now because you will spawn near the quest giver and you can check if the boss is there okay that's it easy sorry guys sorry sorry we're gonna unlock the blast off skill that is the flight skill of this fruit and the target is 220 only sorry guys not 225 for the stats here it is gamer gnome oh there's graybeard we cannot defeat that one gamer gnome why do we have lots of melee guys because we need energy here the cooldown of this fruit is really short so we will be using lots of skills next up guys prison so here guys if you're gonna do server up here that is a good thing because there are three bosses here but there are lots of players doing server hop too okay so make sure to don't fight them better if you can uh, add them as an ally check it out guys i don't know why this one is here i think the uh, regardless the level this is higher than us so things will be a lot easier right so this one too <laughs> is defeating the warden so i tried attacking it there you go I promise you guys I tried talking to him so he tried spawning his own uh, minions or I don't know underlings and check this out guys he tried attacking me wait for it there you go guys so yeah I don't know hmm this will make things a lot longer so uh, aside from you defeating him or letting him defeat you so that you will be disabling your PvP there you go but <laughs> we defeated him <laughs> Anyways, again, our target here is to reach level 350. So guys, if there is no other one grinding here, you can do wall strat with all the bosses. Check this out, guys. This is one, right? See that, guys? I don't know why he's just trying to go through the wall. He is not even a ghost. <laughs> so guys, there you go. Again, defeat Warden, Chief Warden, and Swan. Check it out, guys. This is a light refuser. So as you can see, I am not trying to fight him. Okay, there you go. Next island guys, Magma Village. So here guys, uh, our only target is the Magma Admiral. So this is uh, kind of tanky and you don't have any wall here to do wall strat. So my technique here, use all your skills. After that, wait for him to attack so that you can see and dodge his attacks. There you go. The damage of this boss is really high so make sure to survive. <laughs> okay, there you go. Set. So we're just gonna defeat this I think twice yeah just to show you guys that it is really possible and easy to defeat these bosses using the rocket fruit So guys our target here is level 425. So this one's the 25 something uh, I made a mistake with the vice admiral. So next up is the whirlpool So in the whirlpool our target is the fishman lord But check this out guys See that? Okay, okay <laughs> I don't know why they're even here guys that one is a pale scarf which means he should be the third C. Anyway, guys, there you go. Fishman Lord, and they're already attacking it. This is what I'm telling you guys. PvP dis is disabled. We're gonna attack this one. We will still get experience. So let them defeat it. This is a good, uh, good thing for us because, again, they're a lot stronger compared to us. So they will defeat it faster. Okay? So again, having bullies also is uh, kind of good. In a way <laughs> anyways guys you can also do wall strat here as if there are no other players that can help you defeat these bosses there you go target level is 500 let's check our stats there you go 150 melee defense blood fruits 1203 next up guys is the skylands and just like any other islands we're gonna go straight with the boss here we have two bosses here gamer gnome thunder oh, what guys check this out what is this okay 
check this out guys mass report this one Ben's ma Lee something okay he's using uh, exploits anyways guys whisper and thunder god guys you will just focus on the whisper why guys again thunder god is so far away also once you spawn here you cannot check if he's still alive but the whisper guys yes you can do it right it's really he's really near so you can save more time okay the important thing here is the time also it is not as easy to defeat this whisper compared to the thunder god okay i hope that's clear there you go oh guys but take care you might get one shot here we have low defense but the spawn area is near so yeah that's easy okay target level here game one up is 625 and after that we can now buy this item this will strengthen there you go, increase our damage for fruit users yoshi there you go the tomo ring okay after that guys the tomo ring next area is the fountain city okay there you go so guys target here is the galley pirates only if you want to reach level 700 fast there you go just lure four okay after luring, luring four make sure to hit them with your z skill okay push them towards the other side of the wall there you go okay there you go guys now you can use your airstrike and your rocket crash okay so are they hard to defeat no guys just almost one combo and they're dead so you're just gonna grind here until you reach level 700 and is that a gamer now no as a bonus we will defeat cyborg 1v1 Gamernome, why didn't you include uh, Cyborg and the other mobs here, the galley captains? Guys, check this one out. You're gonna defeat this one, yes. It will give you lots of masteries, but I know that masteries experience, base experience. But guys, it took me, I think, almost one or two minutes just to defeat this one. That's a lot of time, right? So, yeah, I, I'm just showing you to just focus on the galley pirates here. So I think that's it guys for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this. We're just gonna defeat this. And for our remaining boost, we still have 36 minutes. So that's like uh, more than five hours. <laughs> okay, five hours, yeah. So again guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, I hope that you learned something. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.